Hello students, welcome to Narayana online classes. Students, in this session, I would like to discuss with you the assignment key dated uh, along with the uh, questions and solutions. I will discuss with you the assignment key. Starting with the first question students, let us see. First question, cells are measured in dash. As you know very well, cells are always measured in micrometers. Moving on to next question. Second question is, membrane bound nucleus is absent in dash cells. So, the prokaryotic cells, bacteria, both 1 and 2, do not have a membrane bound nucleus. Suppose take a bacteria, generally the bacteria looks like this. Membrane bound nucleus is absent and the bacteria and its body is surrounded by hair like structures called cilia. Hair like structures called cilia. And there is a fluid inside this bacteria called as a cytoplasm. And genetic material like RNA, it has distributed on the surface of cytoplasm. So that's why bacteria and also other kind of prokaryotic cells do not have a membrane bound nucleus. So answer is both one and two. Next question, living organisms differ in dash which make up their body. They have number of cells, shape of the cells, size of the cells or differ. Hence, these three characters are seen. Correct answer is all of the above. They have a number of cells. Suppose take, imagine ourselves. We have number of cells in our body. At the same time, each and every cell is differ. Blood cells are different from the brain cells or nerve cells. Muscle cells are different from the bone cells. Isn't it? And the other kind of cells like liver cells are different from the nephrons. Like this, each and every cell it has particular shape. It has particular size. So, correct answer is all of the above. Moving on to next question. Write the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. We have to uh, differ the eukaryotic cell with the prokaryotic cell or prokaryotic cell with the eukaryotic cell. Suppose take a, a prokaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cell. What is the major difference between eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell? What is the major difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell? The prokaryotic cells, they do not have a membrane bound nucleus. So, genetic material is distributed on the cytoplasm or in the cytoplasm. Whereas, eukaryotic cells, suppose take an eukaryotic cell, they have membrane bound nucleus. They have membrane bound nucleus. That is a basic difference. Prokaryotic cells, they have a lesser in size. They are lesser in size. They have lesser sized cells. Whereas eukaryotic cells, they have bigger sized cells. Okay. And lesser number of cells are seen in prokaryotic cells. Whereas uh, eukaryotic cells are eukaryotic organism. It has more number of cells. If you take a prokaryotic organism, it has lesser number of cells. Whereas eukaryotic organism, it has more number of cells. Best example for eukaryotic or prokaryotic organism. As I said to you, a bacteria is considered as an eu a prokaryotic cell or prokaryotic organism. What is a best example for eukaryotic organism? The best example is human body. The human body, which is a good example, not only human body, all kind of animals, terrestrial animals, even the plants, which are considered as best example for uh, eukaryotic organisms. So basic differences, these are. General differences, we have to put it in our mind. Moving on to next question. Fifth one, it's a unicellular plant. Name this plant. So, what is the name of this unicellular plant? Only one living unicellular plant in the plant kingdom is Acetabularia. Acetabularia, which is a living unicellular plant in the plant kingdom. Okay. Next, moving on to next question. What are the different shapes of the cells? 
Suppose take an amoeba. Suppose take an amoeba, amoeba proteus. It has irregular body shape. So how the amoeba looks like in front of microscope? The amoebans are generally looks like this. They have a membrane bound nucleus at the middle of the body and there is a thick cytoplasm seen in these organisms. With the help of special finger like structures called pseudopodia, the amoeba moves from one place to another place. So the amoebans have irregular body shape, irregular body shape. Next one more example, suppose take a human body take a nerve cell. How the nerve cell looks like in human body? Let us see. Suppose take a nerve cell in human body. It has a separate shape. It has a separate structure. It's a long polar structure. Polar body or long polar structure looks like this. If you take a nerve cell, it's a long polar structure that has some specific parts or specific functions. So what are the parts that are seen in the nerve cell? So let me draw the diagram first, after that we will move. Nerve cell structure is very very important Nana, why because the nerve cell structure continues up to higher studies like 10th grade. So a nucleus is seen in a special structure called cell body or cyton or soma. The cyton or soma connected to a pole like structure called axon. The axon is covered by a sheet called a myelin sheet. What is that sheet? Myelin sheet. The axon divided into uh, smaller branches called as axon terminals. So these are the various parts that are seen in the nerve cell. Okay. Now cell is completely different from other cells. Suppose take a, a bone cell in our body. How the bone cell looks like? Suppose take a bone cell. The bone cell generally looks like this. It's somewhat star shaped or somewhat uh, uh, other kind of uh, shaped cell. The bone cell generally looks like this. Even the bone cell also has a prominent nucleus in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the cell. Next, whereas if you take a, a muscle cell, suppose take a muscle cell Nana, how the muscle cell looks like, let us see. Muscle cells are completely different from other cells. Why? Because they have a particular shape. Suppose take a muscle cell. Muscles are of three different shapes. Some muscle cells like a striated, striated muscle cells striated muscle cells they have striated structure with prominent nucleus some of these muscle cells they have non striated structure whereas uh, these are the various types of uh, cells that are seen in our body not only this blood cells are also seen blood cells also they have different shape suppose take an rbc suppose take a rbc rbc generally has biconvex or uh, round shaped structure. Even if you go for plant cells, how they looks like? Plant cells have different shapes. Plant cells are made up of some certain kind of cell organelles. They have different shapes, isn't it? So anyway, there is a great diversity seen in the cells and its uh, structure. Suppose I want to take uh, uh, blood cells. I want to take blood cells. I want to show the blood cells how they looks like. Starting with red blood cells. Red blood cells are generally somewhat round in shape. They looks like this. So red blood cells are generally looks like this. Red blood cells which are present in our body, they do not have a membrane bound nucleus. Hence, the red blood cells are good examples for prokaryotic cell in our body whereas white blood cells they have different shapes white blood cells are of two different types right what are they granulocytes and agranulocytes they do have a different shapes with prominent nucleus so hence white blood cells are belongs to eukaryotic category 
because of due to the presence of membrane bound nucleus clear children moving on to next question look at the next question ostrich egg is a dash cell suppose take an ostrich egg it's a largest cell in the animal kingdom largest cell suppose take a nerve cell in our body the nerve cell is considered as the longest cell in our body whereas ostrich egg cell an ostrich egg cell it is a largest cell moving on to what is the size of an ostrich egg cell the size of an ostrich egg cell is 17 into 18 cm okay that is the size of an ostrich egg moving on to next question longest cell as i said to you previously the nerve cell how this nerve cell looks like one more time i will draw the diagram look at this nerve cell the nerve cell generally looks like this okay with the prominent nucleus so the longest cell is longest cell is the nerve cell nerve cell is also known as neuron okay students this is the assignment key for this assignment remaining assignment keys we'll discuss later until be safe have a nice day